This is a crystalline bean, a 15,000 strength monster only spawns under set conditions. Of course, it's Solaris. The devs hate me, and defeating this is an achievement. To get it, we need to be subterranean and dig too deep. Then destroy the crystalline bean of my life. In this video, I'll be trying to get it as quick as possible, manipulating settings and min maxing my heart out. So if you need the achievement, follow along. If not, strap in and watch me suffer, as after this achievement, we'll also be getting two more that I can combine with this run. Time for pain. So here is the empire we're playing. We're going to run through it mainly now because as you can see, the timer is up. So the main achievement we're doing is Underlord as a subterranean empire. Dig too deep, but prove yourself worthy. To do that, we have subterranean. How does this achievement work? Well, we need the event to dig too deep. It is guaranteed to happen at some point on a non-capital world that doesn't have exceptional or high quality minerals. So we're going to need a lot of planets. To settle on a lot of planets, we can have Lithoid and Cave Dweller, which will just give us habitability. And we're obviously going to do a lot of setting manipulation. However, we can combine this since we're already lithoid by consuming another empire's desert homeworld. We have help locked in with a desert homeworld. We'll eventually kill him. That's not going to be speed run. We'll just do that after. And finally, we may as well get the last hive mine achievement I need, a thousand drone pops. These two are going to be last. We're going to speed run the event one, which is weird. But these are just going to be side products of us getting lots of planets because we're going to have lots of pops. And the rest is just to help with that. We need a lot of minerals for armies. And since we're lithoid, Belgian and incubators will just help later on. Incubators is because we can't go rapid breeders. But if we're going to have lots of planets, we can just fill them up very quickly and try and get a thousand pops. Since cave dwellers gets less pop growth and so does lithoid. Hopefully we can get to a thousand pops. Now we also have Terravore. It says devouring swarm. Don't know why it's glitched. Hopefully I haven't messed anything up. We can definitely get the one we're speedrunning, but hopefully get the other ones. Now in terms of settings, we are going for a small galaxy with one empire, nothing else. Lowest tech costs, highest habitability, no crisis. We'll put the mid game year down just so we can try and spawn the wraith because we still need to kill that. And then we got civilian, no difficulty stuff. Max hyper lanes just so we can't get blocked. And of course, we've just changed the growth settings so we can actually get a thousand pops because with Lithoids, it's going to be hard. Also, we have innate design, which I've never used, but it gives us a building, which gives us more spawning jobs and resource room jobs. Okay, so we're going to start and as soon as we get in game, we'll start the timer and I'm going to panic. Let's go. Oh dear. So the first thing we want to do is probably just survey because the first system we see is probably going to have a planet. We probably want to go to fast and I'll just start building minerals because I don't know what else to build. <laughs> The first tradition, I believe we just go expansion for more pop groups. That will help later on. So you probably could speed run this single achievement quicker, but because I'm trying to do three at the same time. Wait, this didn't have a planet. Okay, explore. We need to find where the planets are. And we use military ships to do that. Found a planet. Perfect. Uh, we're probably going to want more side ships too. So we'll spam a few out. I'm literally just going to auto this. I don't have time for text. We'll just get text as we go. Okay, we have all the scientists. Send them off to survey. Colony development speed? Nah, it's fine. We'll grab more UC. So we're going to need a lot of energy to dig deep. So we need to make sure we don't lose it all. And then we're just going to try and spam colony ships, essentially. They cost us 375 minerals and 150 alloys. Terravore does give us 25% reduction, which is nice. And then we'll just build a shipyard too. There is a lot going on. Help. Okay, we're going to reduce influence cost on star bases since we want to expand a lot. Domination gives us influence. I think that might be worthwhile going. Uh, as you can tell, I have not really planned this. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Just go for the domination influence pick. Just got to keep moving everything. Don't want to waste any time. I'm just going to spam science too, so we can hopefully rush down better armies because we need about 15,000 strength to actually defeat the thing that will dig too deep. Pop growth speed's great. Good auto, good auto. And we're going to need a lot of minerals too, but we're actually pretty fine on minerals at the minute. Oh my gosh, there's too much happening. But I think there's no point pausing since we're doing a speed run timer that isn't related to in-game. We could also look at the in-game years, but I may as well just keep playing so that we get tech and resources stockpiling and just make sure we're constantly building. I mean, how many colony ships can I build? I'm also just going to auto pick traits because I'm be bothered. Oh, wow. I've actually found... <laughs> <laughs> I found the Empire. We should lock them in and just wait. We don't really want to waste time killing them yet, but I mean, we very much could if we're just colonizing lots of planets. Stop what you're doing. Subscribe now. I know you're not. It's fine. I'm not going to say anything about it. Just subscribe and then we can get on with the video. Thank you. Play the video. Okay, we should, yeah, make a generator world. Well done, game, for telling me to do that. But yeah, every time we get a planet, we're just going to grab the spawning stuff. Okay, we found help. Honestly, it might be worth killing them. I mean, we can build some corvettes. 
building an army actually doesn't matter because we're going to need an army. Like, it's not wasted. Uh, do we get any way of buffing our armies? I literally never do that. I don't think we do. I think we just automate all the planets. I don't really care. You do you. As long as you're making pops for us, that is all I care about. <gasps> okay, we got it. 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 I'm panicking. I don't know what to click. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, where's my notes? Yeah, we just fund it. Funding granted. Fires and energy. We need to make sure we have energy. <laughs> We're not actually gaining. This could be bad. So now we click there has to be more. As you can see, it's got the subterranean origin pick. And then we click these crystals should be ours. And then we will get whatever the enemy is. I can't even remember what it's called. No, we need money. Then digging shall go. Okay, that's fine. Mark it. We have enough. And there we go. The price of greed. Pause it if you want to read this. But basically, we've angered. But if we can defeat them, we would get a hell of a lot of stuff. So we basically need 15,000 before we can take this planet back. So our mission now is... To to build a massive army in all formation because it's really actually quite annoying. Who's gonna build minerals everywhere? I do not care. Prosperity will help with that. More resources from jobs. I'm pretty good pace. I didn't realize this would be the bottleneck. Like having xenomorphs would be great, but I don't think we will get that. But we can bombard, slowly killing it. Well, we may as well bombard him. I don't think that kills the achievement. We'll see. Burning up to 2k at the minute. We really love a leader that helps with armies. Oh, we're gonna be limited by pops. Oh no. I've vastly underestimated the strength that we need. Oh no. Yeah, we need to just build. Build and colonize. We're up to 4k. No, we need 10k more. <laughs> We're slowly killing it. Multiple bombardment damage. Yes. Give me better damn armies, please. Is there a civic I can pick that would give me better armies? Strength of legions. 20% army damage. All of a sudden, minerals are not an issue. And it's more the pop cap. Sometimes I think you should come into things with a plan. I had a small plan. The plan was not good enough. Quite literally just spamming science everywhere. 6k only. Uh, oh, we got a destroyer. We're up to 7 now. I don't want to risk it. Like, there's no point not going for 15k. I mean, we're up to 14 now because we've bombarded. That's our gambit. And we're up to 200 pops. So that should just happen. I just need to sell more planets. I literally forgot about Edict. I'm not going to lie. We can put Wardroom campaign on to for 15 cent more army damage. We're up to 8k. Yeah, it, it's happening. The tech would have been nice for better army damage, but I'm literally not getting it. Give me army damage. The thing is, I don't want to destroy the planet. We're up to 11 k and we're at 10k we can do it more armies more armies more pops more armies i think we can do it 12k against almost 10 i think we may as well land because not all of them can go that makes sense but like we can just send reinforcements to land there uh we probably should still bombard because it'll help take away damage wait what it does stop the timer <laughs> didn't even load up the armies. We killed it. That was way easier than I thought. You could probably optimize this so much quicker. Like this achievement could be done in like 10 minutes. Um, well, the next thing to do is murder while we also colonize every planet we possibly can. 288. So we're going to need a lot more. Okay, let's take their capital then. I'm terrible. Okay. I don't know why it glitched on the page. They do have 7k. I mean, I have 22. I've not actually changed the designs. Hopefully it's fine. We have double. Surely. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We just take all their planets then we consume their capital and now automation needs to go on keep these planets growing and they're dead i won we'll keep playing them <laughs> i still need achievements damn it world's getting consumed we have 500 pops we're halfway to the pop goal i just need to colonize literally every planet i can automation is just going to build up our planet not efficiently but it's all about numbers numbers game also every colony we colonize we get two free pops so just doing it that and there we go we've consumed the capital there's room for dessert 141 of 180 39 achievements left oh my gosh okay looking at the achievements we have left i don't have any except for close the loop i guess that can be from anomalies and dick sites i should have put budding on no way i'm lithoid i can't have budding there are 791 very nice <laughs> How many planets do I have? 53. Okay, I think we just get there now. We don't really need more planets. Unless we can find the wraith or something. Insane. I think we get three a month on average. Maybe like two, actually. Because some months we get three, with some months we get two, some months one. That one got four. Wow. And a thousand. We got the achievement. It counted as a biological high mind. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. You can literally scroll and read all of the achievements we have left. Maybe I'm being stupid. A lot of them are just luck based or very annoying, but we carry on. We have 38 left. Click here to watch the entire series of me getting all 142 so far. Goodbye, my friends.